And now, let me introduce you to the first all-new Lamborghini for over eight years. The Aventador. With a £240,000 price tag, 700 horsepower, and a top speed of 217 miles an hour, everything about this car is big. The engine is particularly awe-inspiring. It's a completely new 6.5-litre V12 that needs 13 litres of oil to keep it running smoothly and 25 litres of coolant to keep it... Well, cool, and that's five times more than a normal car. But being a normal car is something that the quarter of a million pound Aventador does surprisingly well. Despite the huge width of this car, it doesn't feel that big around these little tiny streets about town. Uh, now, I said this car didn't feel big, but now I've got to turn around. Reverse. And that, that goes in quick enough. Actually, visibility is exceptional for a supercar like this. Pull the panel, and we're away. Well, it wasn't so painful. Buy one of these cars, though, and you can expect a rather annoying day-to-day -day niggle. When you think you're an automatic and you stop at junctions, it drops into neutral, and then you accelerate and there's nothing there. Boing! A little horrible tune tells me I'm now in neutral. Then when I get it into gear, it lurches forward. Oh, thanks, Lamborghini. But what about B-Roads? Feeling better now, I've looked in my mirror and seen the spoilers come up. And the smile is growing. Not getting that oral pleasure I was hoping for with this V12. It's got a clever inboard suspension like a Formula One car to reduce the unsprung weight. I'm still bouncing around like mad with this suspension set up. Ride comfort, not on the highest. So, can the Aventador redeem itself on the track? Shut up. Time to switch into the track mode, or Corsa, as they say in Italian. Right, come on now, tight right hand, and let's have some fun. Turn, understand, and there's more and more. No, no. Turn in a bit quicker, and you can just get that little bit of oversteer, but when you put the power on it, plows back into an understeer. Give it a flick, get it sideways. Apparently having some similarities with a Bugatti Veyron. It's nothing like as smooth. The Veyron changes gear on full throttle without even your hair twitching. This cracks your neck. I think Lamborghini said they wanted to create the world's most emotional gear change. Well, the only emotion I'm getting is a stiff neck. One thing that is for sure, however, is that this Aventador is fast. And 205 miles now in a road car is a brand new fifth gear speed record. I love the 700 horsepower. I love the fact that it's a V12. I love this high speed handling. But I don't want to pay a quarter of a million pounds for this dashboard, the ride on road, and the pain in my neck when I change gear. I'm sorry, Lamborghini, but you've built neither a comfortable long-distance cruiser nor a fun-handling hypercar. I'd hoped for so much more.